Let's take a minute to think about what's happening here, at this very moment, in this very room. And because we are developers and we love to model reality, let's try to model a lightning talk. To do that, we'll have to forget for a moment that we are humans and consider we are programs. I am a program, you are programs, and we are supposed to work together. Now I, as a speaker, I'm a function of time. Depending on time, I produce audio and video. The audio is, of course, the words I say, and the video, the moves I make. Now, you are functions too. You are not functions of time directly, but rather function of what I produce. You are subscribing to what I say and observing what I do. Okay, so here I am on stage emitting sounds that form words that end up forming sentences, and here you are receiving all this raw data. But what exactly is you? How are you receiving what I'm sending? Well, you are composed of many other functions. Their job is to receive raw data and convert it into another type of data. Your eyes and your ears, for example, are receiving waves and light from me and converting them into electrical impulses that go right to your brain. They are independent functional part of a bigger function that is you. In this metaphor, I am the user and you are the interface. If I produce a joke, for example, I expect you to laugh. Just like when your user clicks, he expects the interface to change, right? Now, you depend on what I do. But not only. If you think about this, you're receiving data from everywhere in the room, like the slides I'm showing, the person speaking next to you, your cell phone ringing in your pocket. Just like you, user interfaces do not only depend on what the user is doing. They are also reacting to server responses, WebSocket events, timer endings, and so on and so forth. And that is the challenge we, as front-end developers, have to face every day when we build user interface, handling streams of events that comes from everywhere, from multiple sources. And that's also the problem that functional reactive programming is addressing. If you pay close attention to the nature of the signal your program receives, you can see that there is one common denominator, time. Time, we may have forgot about this, but time is a fundamental input of our programs. Without time, I don't produce anything, and you don't receive anything either. Without time, a server does not receive any request from a client. Without time, a user interface does not receive any event from the user. Functional reactive programming adds time as a fundamental input of our program, and this changes everything. Because you don't have to worry anymore what part of your code is asynchronous, what, is, what part is not. You just need to declare a pure data flow that will transform any input signal into pieces of HTML, HTTP request, WebSocket event, and so on and so forth. Now, with that in mind, and probably a little help from Cycle.js, you can start building web apps as pure functions of time. Thank you very much.